Hi, my name is Serene, and on behalf of our research team, I will be presenting our lip breaking work paper. Like every one of us, people with intellectual disability are self-motivated learning and are enthusiastic information seekers. However, there are some technical challenges for people with intellectual disability when accessing required information and interact with conversational search systems, such as literacy and typing barriers, misunderstanding speech and, and slow speech, and lack of multimodal support. By addressing those barriers and limitations, we first design a result of all applications. This application includes the standard search engine interface and allows us to add multiple elements at the later stage. We then experimented on setting up the accessible prototype before and throughout the different settings and individuals. We observe video recording interactions and conduct contextual interview, as well as one or two researchers acting as an experimenter located in the same room. Here is our initial interface of the system we developed. In the figure 1, users search using an iPad. This is for individual search. However, with the collaborative search, we use a bigger screen for this interface to be displayed. Individual search information is based on their interests. Users are able to touch picture, speak, and using a combination of touch and speak for seeking information further. However, with the collaborative search, that is not possible. In figure number two, there is an experimental interface which allows us as a researcher to send information back to the user. This interface includes searching bar, we can choose which pictures to send, as well as the text to be displayed on the user screen, and spoken text back to the user. Throughout the study, we believe different types of modalities, for instance, images, touch, and speed, help users to search for relevant information. Setting up the scene and context are both useful for the study to run and gather more understanding into individual needs. Interestingly, conversational systems were also seen to better support collaborative information retrieval which had the potential to encourage people with intellectual disability to explore new topics and develop new information queries. We believe participants value the system as it fulfilled their information needs and the system achieved an acceptable level of accessibility. We hope this will be useful for further conversational system. Thank you.